Suffragette takes a view from the foot soldiers of the feminist movement to win the vote for women. For a film about the movement, I wasn't particularly moved. It is an important movie and it is surprising it is only just getting told now in feature film form, but it does feel more like an ITV drama. It constantly feels like something is missing and I think that something is a good script. If it wasn't for the solid female cast and a shining performance by Carrie Mulligan, the film would have been a chore to watch. Anne-Marie Duff and Ramona Carey are charming as ever, though underused, and it's refreshing to see Helena Bonham Carter not play a caricature or be credited against Johnny Depp. I first saw Carrie Mulligan in one of my favourite Doctor Who episodes, and I have been entranced with her ever since. She has this natural ability to have you look at only her, Hence why I stated shining performance. She is the son of acting. <laughs> Watching her character go from this mousy woman to the resilient fighter is just beautiful, but all credit goes to Mulligan and her ability to make this work. It glosses over the politics of the movement so easily, it makes you wonder if the creative team remembered what they were actually commentating on. You certainly won't learn anything on this moment in history, but I do see it as a good starting point for schools or anyone interested in this era, as I certainly wanted to read a book or watch a documentary after the film had finished. The real life characters of this history barely get any kind of screen time, as it spends time manipulating the fictional character Maud into the narration of the movement. So don't get too excited people, Meryl Streep has about five minutes screen time, but bets are on for her winning the Oscar. It crowbars in the real fatal accident of Emily Davison stepping in front of the King's horse at the Epsom Derby and loses any kind of emotional power as it abruptly centres back to our fictional character Maud. And the male characters are just too stocky for my liking. The evil boss, the husband that can't even look after himself, never mind his child, and the inspector that is blinded by the law, there to do his job so the writer can move from one scene to another. At least this copper is one up from the Peter Sellers hiding up against the walls inspector in Legend. But Brendan Gleeson is just too masterful for this type of role. Here you have a subject matter that is way more interesting than the film itself. But hopefully the film can create enough discussion to have more films of this topic come our way. Thanks for watching. If you want to watch more Leah Haver reviews, just click on these links here. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Leave a comment in the box below. Are you looking forward to Suffragette? Have you seen it yet? Just pop your thoughts in the comment box below. And don't forget to subscribe.